Um, and so the idea is that a logarithm is an exponent, right? We said that over here. Um, um, this is actually after swapping the variables, right? So this tabulation refers to x equals 2 to the y. And if you solve x equals 2 to the y for y, you get log base y is the exponent between 5 to base 2 gives you x. So we have the uh, properties of exponents, um, which I will remind you about. Uh, should we write those over here? Um, so what do we know? b to the x times b to the y is b to the x plus y. Um, b to the x to the y is b to the uh, b. b to the x y, right? Power to the powers, the product of the powers. Let's just start with those two. Those are like the more important ones, right? So the corresponding properties of logarithms look like this. And this is section 4.4, 4, actually. Um, that um, the log to base B of a product, what should we name the product? Um, how about GH? So this is the product of g times h, right? Turns out that's the same as the log to base b of g plus the log to base b of h. And that, in fact, is exactly equivalent to this statement over here. So why? Well, a logarithm is an exponent. So when you're multiplying there's a common base, and we do have a common base here. We are multiplying. That's equivalent to adding the exponents. So the logarithm is an exponent. So this exponent plus that exponent is this um, exponent in a way. So how do we, let's prove this so we don't have to wonder about whether it's true or not. So here's a little proof. I'm going to say, um, that um, um, this is a number, right? So I'm going to say b to the x equals g. Can we always find an x and a b so that's true? Well, we, we're given b, right? So if we know g and we know b, can we find x? Um, B is positive, so G must be positive. So if G is positive, then yes. If G is negative, then this is all wrong, right? I mean, G and H um, must both be positive. You can't take a <coughs> logarithm of a negative number, at least not in the real world. By real world, I mean with real numbers. So, uh, so let, let me put it this way. Let x and y be such that uh, b to the x is equal to g, and b to the y is equal to h. We can, we can always find exponents which that true. You know, given any base and any positive number g or h, we can find an exponent so the b raised to that power is that positive number. I mean, how do you know that? Well, in some sense, it's, it's here, right? You've got an exponential curve that covers all positive outputs. So give me a positive output. I'll tell you what exponent I apply to that, to that base b to get that positive output, right? OK, so given that, then what's the log base b, let's start with the left side here, OK? So log to base b of g times h. Well, that's equal to, I'm going to substitute now, right? Log to base b of b to the x times b to the y. 
for substituting for what G is and what H is in terms of base B and exponent X and exponent Y. Now what? So I start out with the left hand side, I substitute because I can. Any ideas? Mm -hmm. B to the x times b to the y. What can I do? <laughs> well, I can just add, I mean, that's what this property is saying here, right? I want to use this property in order to derive this property of exponents. I'm saying it's equivalent to this property of, sorry, this property of logarithms is equivalent to this property of exponents. So I'm going to use that property of exponents, right? Say so this is log to base b of um, b to the x plus y. <clears throat> so now let me ask you uh, a related question. Who's buried in Grant's tomb? What? If they put the wrong guy in there, that would be embarrassing. Maybe like Harding or something. Coolidge. It would be wrong. Lincoln. No. Um, no, it's it's Grant, right? It's the, the funny thing about the question is it's telling you the answer. Like, here's a quiz. Let's see how your depth of knowledge of trivia is. Who's buried in Grant's tomb? <laughs> well, the obvious answer is Grant, right? So. Now let me ask you a, a question which is more to the point. What exponent do I raise base b to in order to get b to the x plus y? x plus y. So this is x plus y. Remember, a logarithm is an exponent. It's the exponent which when applied to this base gives you this result. So this is like a grand student thing. It's telling you what the answer is. But what's x? <laughs> well, yeah, see, the thing about Grant's tomb is it's not really buried there. He's entombed, right? It's not a grave. It's tomb. So I think you can walk in there and pull out the drawer, and there he is. I, 